Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We are here to do a maintenance of my Honda Richland 2021 model. So in my dashboard, it shows uh, B16 uh, maintenance due soon. So this includes um, change oil, rear differential fluid uh, replacement, and uh, tire rotation and some things that you have to check like the boot, brake lines, and fluid levels. And I will post here on the list of what to check. So here it says maintenance due soon B16 or B16 though my oil life is just 15% I still have more life. So for the oil change if you go underneath you will see here engine oil and I'm using a 17 yeah 17 and a breaker bar to loosen this up all right so i'll try to loosen don't remove it yet so i have to put my oil pan here or the catch pan if i remove this one and you can remove this fill cover huh? check it's fine remove oil filter Check brake rotors and pads. You can see the thickness of the brake pad here. Uh, what else? Brake lines, uh, those boots, got the boots. I have some leak or damage. And what else? Bushing. This one. Still intact. No damage, no crap. So we need the back side. Check around here. And also the here. Uh, this this is not dirt this is oh, actually this is dirt that uh, get taken through time because of the fluid film the anti-rust so it's protecting the the metal from rusting so don't remove this and maybe next week i will apply or reapply fluid film uh, okay, I think it's almost done. So for my oil, I'll be using the Pennzoil, uh, fully synthetic. And for the oil filter, I'll be using the original uh, uh, filter from Honda. And the washers that I bought from Amazon. Uh, these are combinations of washer for... Uh, rear differential uh, fill and uh, drain and washer for for the drain plug of uh, engine oil this is the old washer so you can see that there's a mark that is already been crushed oh i can see my finger here and then here this is the new one so 
that's the reason why we need to replace it because it's been crushed already to avoid the, the leaking okay put this back hand tight first to avoid the cross threading before using the torque wrench Okay, so 30 foot pound of torque. I guess I need some extension here. Here. Take a remove this. I guess that's it. Yeah. 30 foot pound of torque all right and then for the oil filter wipe it clean okay for this oil filter I already fill it up and and take some of the oil and look you can see oil up this gasket and then put it back by hand just hand tighten Yes, that's fine. All right. So here, so up here is the here is where you fill your engine oil. If you can remember, I removed this earlier, so that it will let the all the oil be drained at least. Okay. I need 5.4 so I will have to empty this out this one jug this is 5 liters and I already put some of the oil in my filter so still I the total of the liters I will put for the first uh, filling up is 5 liters and then I will get some some more 0.4 liters and you also have to make sure that the oil is actually going inside uh, Maybe you thought it's going inside. Make sure that it's your funnel is inserted properly. Alright. So, okay, so I transfer some 0.5 liters here. Or 0.4. Stick. 
okay now that's good we will check it again uh, later and if it's still not enough we will have to add more clean the cup then cover it okay now we will proceed with the clear differential fluid this is the uh, rear differential this one and here is the fill plug we should remove that one first let's use the extension of this one no need for any right here and then loosen that one up and then later you will do the the drain part that one is the drain oh here So loosen the fill first. Okay, so I loosened them already. So now I have to lift this up to make sure the the truck is level. And as you can see, this is the the safe place where you can uh, jack up rear tires together. So Yes, that's fine. I will now drain this depression fluid. You can see it's already leaking. It's already losing it. But yeah, remove this and also remove the fill plug first. Okay. This one in the washer. And this one. I don't know if you can see here but yeah there's a metal filing and I've already wiped it it's a new one all right As you can see that metal Or metal and then so for the fluid I will be using this Honda genuine uh, dual pump fluid too I bought this from the Honda dealership around 16 Canadian dollars each so yeah 32 plus tax the 16 dollars includes washers but since I already bought my washer online I will re return those washer of rear differential fluid and I will be using this pump this is what I found it doesn't fit here because this is for big jug but uh, I think this still works so I'm inserting this one in the fill hole and then the other end will be in the differential fluid <coughs> In the manual it says 1.92 quarts or 1.8 liters or something. We will see. Alright, let's see what we can do. I finished filling up this fill differential fluid with 2 liters and then now returning the fill plug with a new washer. Untie it first. Earlier I 
I used the extension here to loosen and then I realized it's, it will fit if you go directly here no need to use the extension It should be all right while we are underneath you can check all the gasket fuel lines some other unusual leaks this one bushings there's a crack same thing with what you did in the front so for the tire rotation um, since this has no uh, directional markings like how the tire should rotate there should be arrow here I don't know where but there should be arrow on the direction of the tire movement uh, so what what the manual says is the front tires will go at the rear and the rear tires will interchange so the left driver side rear this one will go into the front passenger side front while the rear passenger side will go here in the front uh, left or driver side so interchange after rotation i will tighten this to the sp specific torque 94 uh, foot pound and for the coolant level here i'm still at the minimum above the minimum so still okay above the minimum line It's cold so that's fine and then with the brake fluid same thing here and I'm still uh, on the correct level let's see So yeah, that's it for checking the fluid here. Washer fluid is you just have to fill it up when it's empty. No need to check this. Or you can fill it up. So that's fine. I still have some. Uh, yeah. And for the next one is to reset this maintenance due here in the monitor and the dashboard. So just go here in the home screen and then setting and then vehicle and then go to maintenance info and then you can see here all wheel drive so change the oil and the oil filter I did the tire rotation and all wheel drive oil so that's the read differential fluid so just reset and then just reset so then here you can see it's gone already so again always remember your maintenance date like the change oil so that you know when to replace it so I'll do it every six months. So thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.